So hi and welcome to this video. So this is the first video in uh, of the 14 remix I'm going to be doing of the How to Make Your Own Social Network series because in the first 14 videos there was actually uh, this background music that turned out to be copyrighted and uh, I got a copyright notification on my channel. It's not a copyright strike so it's not the same thing. It just means that um, YouTube knows that the mu like they've worked out the music was copyrighted. I didn't know it was at the time but it obviously is so uh, and also the uh, first 14 videos of this, I uh, didn't record my own voice, I used this really weird computer software to uh, do it. So I'm going to re be remaking the videos and then removing those old ones and hopefully these ones will be higher quality as well. So I'm going to be re remaking them exactly as they were. Um, so they'll be exactly the same, just it'll be hopefully higher quality because hopefully the um, recording will be clearer and it's my voice instead of a computer and there's no annoying background music. So uh, let's get started. So uh, the first thing I did in the last videos was I created a page called index.html and this is it here and obviously this is it here as well. And what I, what I did next was I created three folders. So the first one was image, oh it doesn't really matter what order, so image, CSS and then JS for JavaScript. And then what I did was I pasted in the logo and uh, this is the Find Friends logo here if it would load. Uh, you can't see it because it's on a white background, but uh, trust me, that's uh, correct. So the next thing I did was um, I came in here and I started the actual HTML document. So let's start that now. So let's do uh, doc type and set it equal to HTML. And then we will create, whoops, the head tags. Uh, and we'll create the body tags next. And the title was uh, find friends, I believe. So it doesn't really matter. Let's just do find friends. So the next thing I did was I created a new file and I saved it as, let's go here, CSS. And I saved it as style.css, I believe. It doesn't matter, just I saved a CSS file. And then what I want to do is I'm going to include it. So um, let's do link rel equals style sheet type equals text slash CSS and then uh, href. Whoops, and we're going to set this equal to CSS slash style dot CSS. And then we can check that it worked by uh, just creating a style for it all. Or to a st this means this asterisk mean asterisk means that anything within the bracket applies to every element on the page. So I'm just going to set it equal to Arial, and I'm going to just put in some text. And the way we'll know it's working is because the default font in the browser is Times New Roman. So I'll actually get rid of this to begin with. And um, we'll come over to our browser. We will refresh, and as you can see, the font is in Times New Roman. We come over here. We paste this in, and it should change to Arial, which is correct. So this means our style sheet is being loaded correctly. Okay, so then what I did was I said margin and I set it equal to zero pixels and I set the padding also equal to zero pixels. And then I set the font family to Arial. And in the video, I actually just left it as Arial, but I'm gonna set this to uh, Helvetica. And then the sans serif. Uh, the sans, sans serif isn't actually a font, it's actually just a font family. Because you're supposed to, when you end at the end of every, um, whenever you specify a font, you're supposed to specify the uh, font you want and then a fallback. And then, well, you can put as many fallbacks as you want, but usually people use two fallbacks. And then the final one is any font within the font sans serif family. So uh, that's just so uh, you know that sans serif isn't a font. And then the final one we want to do is we want to say font size equal to, tw uh, well, I did 12 pixels, so I'll just do that again. And let's refresh and all we should see is the text got smaller and there's no padding or margins around the edge anymore. So the next thing I'm going to do, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a class called header menu. So I'm going to say div, whoops. And if you're using sublime text, a quick thing you can do is instead of typing in uh, less than greater than div and in between it or putting div in between it, you put the word div, you press tab and it fills it in for you. Then I say class equals header menu. Then I want to come into the style sheet again and I want to set 
the class header menu, or I want to set some style attributes for the uh, header menu class. So the first thing I did was I set the background color uh, equal to, okay, I set it equal to 00B, um, 9ED, that's the uh, font color, I mean the background color, um, and I set the height to 38 pixels. I set the border bottom to none, so zero pixels or none is the same thing. And I set the padding uh, left to auto and the padding right to auto. And I also set the width to 100%. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh. And as you can see, we have the blue bar across the top now, like we did in the uh, first video. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to inside here, uh, create, whoops, the uh, wrapper. So I'm going to create a div and give it an ID of a wrapper. And then within that, I'm going to create another div. And it's going to have the class of, whoops. Uh, let's set the class equal to logo. Then what I did is I went back into the CSS file and I said, whoops, hashtag wrapper for the ID to so get the ID uh, element with the, or sorry, to get the element with the ID of wrapper. So what I did now is I set the margin left to auto and the margin right to auto as well. And I set the width to 100 pixels. Whoops, not 100, 1000 pixels. I set the padding top to 0 pixels. And the padding bottom to also 0 pixels. Now we're going to go on to the dot logo uh, class. So what I did was I also set the width of this to 125 pixels. And then I actually finished that class and then I went into the dot, I went into the logo class again and then went into the image element inside that class. And I set that width to equal to 150 pixels. And I set the height equal to 38 pixels. So let's uh, go over here and let's put our image in. So image source equals image slash, uh, whoops, let's just get the name of it. And the file type. So it's a PNG, so uh, find underscore friends underscore logo dot PNG. And let's refresh. And as you can see, our logo appeared as it did last time. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Uh, and I'll see you next time.